everyone that this it is about. One, you have a stalker, but you unbox your access and you notice who's a stalker. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. The city lights shimmered below as you walked through the bustling streets, a chill in the air that made you pull your coat tighter. You had been feeling a sense of unease lately, the nagging feeling that someone was watching you. Your face quickened as you navigated the familiar path home, a mixture of anxiety and frustration settling in. Meanwhile, in a nearby cafe, Bakugo, your ex-boyfriend and still a close friend to you, sat at a corner table, nursing a cup of coffee. His sharp eyes scanned the crowd, a habit that he had in dull, even after your breakup. Unknown as to you, he had noticed a shadowy figure tailing you, and concern etched on across his features. Deciding to confront the situation, Baku intercepted you, falling into step beside you. Hey, Wyan, long time to see. He greeted. His tone casual, despite the tension lingering beneath the surface. Your eyes widened at the unexpected encounter, a mix of emotions flickering through your face. Katsuki, what are you doing here? He asked, trying to mask the discomfort that his presence stirred. He shot you a pointed look, his voice slow and serious. I saw someone following you. What's going on, Lion? Your heart skipped the beat as the gravity of his words sank in. I haven't noticed anything. He trailed off, scanning the area nervously. Bakugo's gaze remained focused, his protective instincts kicking in. Keep walking. We need to lose this guy. I'll explain. He urged, guiding you through the winding streets, away from the prying eyes. As you walked, Bakugo explained what he had observed, his concern evident in every word. I've seen that guy following you for a few days. He's been keeping his distance. But it's definitely intentional. Your mind raised, an anxiety knotting in your stomach. Why do you even know? Or how? Honestly, I've seen you once, okay? And I really wanted to talk to you. So, when I tried to approach you, I saw that guy. And he was just following you. So I tried to see you again, outside your house, and I saw him again. So from then on, I've been kind of concerned. Oh, well, what do we do about them, then? Baku's expression hardened, a rare seriousness in his eyes. First, we need to make sure he's not telling us anymore. Then we can figure out who he is and why he's following you. The two of you weaved through the labyrinth of the streets. Baku was watchful eyes, scanning any signs of the mysterious follower. Eventually, the tension left it, and it seemed like you had lost him. Leaning against the quiet alley, Baku focused on you. Alright, Moyan, what's going on? Why would someone be stalking you? You sighed, the weight of the situation pressing down on you. I have no idea, Katsuki. I've been feeling uneasy for a while, but I thought it was just my imagination. Bakugo's jaw clenched, his protective insects on high alert. We'll get to the bottom of this. No one messes with you, got it? Your heart warmed at his unwavering support, a mix of emotions swirling within you. Thank you, Katsuki. I appreciate you looking out for me, even after everything. He met your gaze, his expression softening. You're not just anyone, Wyan. Let's figure out who this guy is and put an end to this. The two of you spend the next few days investigating the mysterious stalker. Baku's expertise in hero work and determination to protect you led to a breakthrough. The stalker was revealed to be someone from your past, harboring resentment and obsession. Confronting the stalker with Bakugo by your side, he felt a surge of confidence. His protective stance and unwavering support sent a clear message. 
that you were not alone. As the situation resolved, Baku turned to you, his gaze softening. Moyan, I know that we're not together, but I still care about you. I won't let anyone hurt you. You nodded, gratitude filling your heart. Thank you, Katsuki. I'm lucky to have you as my corner, even just as a friend. Baku's smile was genuine, a mix of camaraderie and genuine concern. Friends or not, I will always have your back, Wayan. The experience brought you and Baku go closer, a renewed understanding and appreciation for the bond that had evolved between you. As you navigated the complexities of the past and the challenges of the present, you couldn't tell but feel a sense of gratitude for the unexpected ally by your side. In the days that followed, the shared experience and dealing with the stalker seemed to have opened the door to communication between you and Bakugo. The tension that had once lingered between you had softened, replaced by mutual understanding and a shared determination to protect each other. One evening, as the city lights fainted a vibrant backdrop, Bakugo suggested grabbing a quiet dinner to catch up. As he sat across from each other in a cozy restaurant, there was palpable shift in the air. The weight of the unspoken words hung between you and Bakugo. Never one to mince words. Broke the silence. Moyan, we need to talk about what happened between us. I know I messed up, and I never properly apologized for it. He began. What are you talking about? Back when we were together, I was too focused on myself. I let my pride and temper get in the way. I said things I shouldn't have, and I didn't appreciate you the way they deserved. I'm not proud of how I treated you. You deserved way better. I let you go, and I regret it. I should have fought for us, for you. I messed up. I'm sorry, Lion. His apology hung in the air, and the sincerity in his eyes a could a truth that you couldn't ignore. It was a side of Bakugo that you had never seen before. A humility that felt genuine. You took a moment, processing his words before responding. Jatsuki, it hurt when we broke up. I thought you didn't care, but hearing you say this, it means a lot. I appreciate your honesty. Can I get another chance? I need time to think. This isn't something that I can decide on the spot. Take all your time, Wan. I'll do whatever it takes to make things right. As the city lights continued to shower below, you found yourself standing at the crossroads of a decision. The possibility of getting back together with Bakugo, a man who had shown a side of vulnerability and remorse, felt like a chance worth taking. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.